internet abuzz once again with Google product rumors, this time about the Google Pad. Some say the debut could come on Black Friday. So what is the... Google Pad is a terrible name. Let us hope they do not name it that. But would it be an iPad killer, which in and of itself is still a terrible name? Joining us, Noah Kravitz, editor-in-chief at PhoneDog.com. And coming to us via Skype is John Abel, New York City Bureau Chief of Wired Magazine. Good to have both of you with us. Yes, I editorialize, but I mean, <laughs> really, enough with the pads. Noah, uh, do they, you really think they're going to roll out some sort of a tablet? Yeah, I absolutely do. Uh, I'm hearing code names Stingray. That won't be the shipping product, but hopefully that suits you, Aaron, a little more than the whole pad thing. I'd like uh, the Ray. Yeah. You like the Ray. So, I'll, you know, well, I'll send that back to my sources, see what they say. <laughs> uh, yes, what, what I have, uh, you know, from some very well-placed people is they're trying to get it out in time for the Christmas holiday shopping season. So Black Friday makes sense. On Verizon, made by Motorola, running uh, Google Android 3.0, on Verizon's new LTE network with some form of mobile TV, possibly uh, something to do with what Verizon showed earlier this week, which was their Fios cable TV system actually running on an iPad in prototype form. The hiccup in all of this could be that Android 3.0, the next big release of Android, may not be ready in time to hit that ship date. So you know how these things go, we hear yeah. dates, they slip, you never know. But but that's that's what's going on right now. It's not the HTC thing that was talked about yesterday. That The author of that rumor at the end of the day said he made it all up so so you but you're saying you hear this from real sources John what do you think I mean it yes. sounds like from what Noah's saying it's pretty much the polar opposite I mean I guess the the product may be similar but I mean the system and the companies and the partners are all the opposite of uh, the iPad sure I mean a lot of this is inside baseball um, Verizon has said said back in May they told the Wall Street Journal that they were working with Google on a tablet it might have been a slip of the tongue but Verizon said it so part of this shouldn't be a surprise I guess the surprise would be that they would uh, sort of go all in by launching a product so close to uh, the holiday and I guess figuring that doing it on Black Friday if that's their plan would be enough of a splash to miss out on um, uh, the earlier part of the year or to wait until they actually have a finished product. That's the part that surprises me. Because you, you're saying it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be perfect by then. Well, it's, if they're rushing to hit um, Black Friday, which is a month before Christmas, that's a pretty hard deadline. Uh, it, that, it's the timing of this that surprises me. Not that Google would get into it. Um, there aren't really any credible uh, tablet competitors yet. If you don't like names, Aaron, I bet you don't like Streak either. Um, so I, we're, we're waiting for something to emerge that will give Apple a run for its money. Apple probably won't take kindly to this. Um, because uh, you know they're they're increasingly competing with Google on things that they didn't think they'd be competing with yeah. them about. The other thing is that um, the Verizon aspect is interesting. I wonder what that says about the prospects of an iPhone uh, on Verizon. Oh, that's an interesting point of view. By the way, I like the streak because it's somewhat salacious. The pad is just sort of <laughs> gross. Uh, Noah, <laughs> Noah, what do you think about though John's point that maybe hard to get it done by then? I mean, can Google afford to come into this market with something that isn't really perfect because once you come out and a bunch of people buy it and they don't like it it's hard to get a second chance um, Google can, yeah, because there are, there are, well, A, Google, you know, has a history of shipping products in beta. Gmail was in beta forever, and, you know, it's one of the biggest email systems in the world. Um, but also there are, you know, they, the wave of Android smartphones is shown, you know, usually summer's a downtime for, for people in our business, not this summer. And it's been all Android with that one, you know, obviously big deal iPhone, but that one iPhone thrown in. So there are other uh, tablets in the pipeline that will run Android and eventually, you know, possibly run Chrome, uh, another Google software platform. So I think Google can afford it. The the point about Verizon, I think, is actually a little more, you know, a little more interesting. Verizon, obviously, you know, they're huge. They can afford a slip up or whatnot. But at the same time, what does that mean about a possible, you know, iPhone on Verizon? Does Verizon really need Apple? Does Apple really need Verizon? Et cetera, et cetera. Yep. Um, so, so that's the interesting thing. I, I think the timing would make a lot of sense for the holiday shopping season. Um, but, but that's a huge, you know, a huge factor that, that uh, he just brought up mm -hmm. about is it going to be ready, you know? Just as a point of history, as we say goodbye, today is the six-year anniversary of the Google IPO. Interesting, it's the first full day we're talking about the GM IPO, which was the next IPO that could have gone Dutch and didn't. Noah, John, thanks to both of you.